So here we are at the Pocono Wildlife Rehabilitation and Education Center. I'm here with Kathy Aller and our little friend here, who's a raccoon. And Kathy, we talked a little bit earlier today about handling animals and bringing them to your facility in a proper way. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you would expect people to do? Sure. You know, some of these animals, as cute as they are when they're little babies, can also be very dangerous. And even though they don't, you know, they, they don't seem very vicious at this age, uh, they can still carry diseases that can hurt or even kill a person. So when an animal needs help, we want people to keep in mind that they have to have their safety in mind as well as the animals. So we ask them to at least wear a pair of gloves. And even better, if they can contain the animal in something and then slide a piece of cardboard underneath or scooch it in with gently with a shovel or a broom. There are just a lot of different ways that you can contain an animal without using your bare hands. That makes perfectly good sense. It does. So, and some of the diseases that we talk about, they could they use. Sure. Rabies, tularemia, no, okay. um, parasites, even fleas can carry diseases. We all don't think about it, but you know, fleas carry plagues. You know, it's just like, you know, hey, you don't, you we don't just, want to start the next play. No, right? we don't. So you know, it's just a matter of you know, don't poo-poo it. It's just an easy thing to do to be to be careful. And some of these animals, if they're handled before they come in, have to be tested for rabies, and that defeats the purpose of caring for them because they have to be euthanized for that. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so that's good to know too. We have to keep human health in the forefront as we're trying to help wildlife. Okay, thanks, Kathy. Sure. Thanks.